As far as the sea turtles go, on an average year, you can get 500, 600 nests in the panhandle and stretching into Alabama. This year, you know, we will be keeping a close eye to see if the, that changes drastically. What we saw from the oil spill was about 600 turtles were found dead during the spill period of time, and that's throughout the Gulf Coast. Some of those may or may not have been due to the oil. Um, they're still figuring some of that out. But we don't know in terms of the impact. Was it on the juveniles? Was it on the adults? Was it on both? A sea turtle who's ready to nest, you know, as an adult turtle, if they were impacted, we should see a quick decline in nesting numbers this year. And so we'll be watching for that. If there's a, a drastic decline in the number of nests this year, it would indicate a lot of adult turtles were impacted. If it was juvenile turtles that were impacted, we may not see the impacts uh, from the oil spill on that for several years, five, 10, maybe even 15 years, if it was a lot of juvenile turtles. The one species that was impacted the most probably was the Kemp's Ridley. Uh, that species does a lot of feeding and foraging right around the mouth of the Mississippi River, and of course that's where the oil spill was. So we had a lot of those turtles out of the 600 that were found dead. The majority of them were Kemp's Ridley turtles. You know, this year we're going to be looking for anything that's unusual, anything that's out of the ordinary, and the number of dolphins that have been washing in dead this uh, winter and spring is definitely a lot higher than normal. We don't know if that has to do with the oil spill or not. Right now, the tests are still out. It could take several months before they get the tests back to determine if there is compounds in the, the tissues indicating it was oil related or not. But whenever you see something like that this year, obviously everybody's gonna think, ooh, oil, oil, maybe. We'll, we'll go through and take a look and see. It could be other things just in terms of um, red tides, other type of algae blooms, some other type of just cold weather. We had a, a you know, reasonable cold snap this year. So it could be something else, but we will be looking for anything out of the ordinary, and that certainly is something that this year is popping up.